Now for course one in Code Studio by Code.org, we're going to talk about the unplugged activity, the big event. The big event is one of my favorites in course one. It's a lot of fun. It's, it takes a little bit of memory. I'm not going to lie, but it is a good time for everybody. In the resources, we provide you with a remote, and this remote has three buttons on it. You go over these three buttons with your class in advance, so you tell them what each button does. And generally, it's something like, when I press this button, you make the sound, yay! And when I uh, press this button, you make the sound, boom! Uh, and, well, I guess when you press the other button, you make the sound, wee! Or something to that effect. And then you set them on a task, a task that's like a program, something that they have to complete top to bottom, beginning to end, something that they can do independently uh, of the button pressing. Then in order to hit home the idea of an event, you show them that whenever you press the button, that's an event that causes the action of them saying, boom. And it interrupts your regularly scheduled program. So they'll be, say they're supposed to be counting. One to 50. One, two, three, boom. Four, five, six, yay. Seven, eight, wee. Right? They're having to listen for an event so that they can do an action outside of the program that they're already running. If you hit on that just a few times, you're running a program, you're listening for an event that causes you to do an extra action, and then the event is a great way to add an interactive element to a program. You can relate that to pressing the run button on Code Studio or uh, when when two actors collide, you can run through lots of different kinds of events and just kind of get them to understand that events add interactive ability. As always, don't feel like you have to go through this lesson exactly as written. You know your classroom best. So if you think that there's an alteration that's going to make it run better in your classroom, go for it.